हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट क्रोमोजोमल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन अंडर दिस वी डिस्कस अबाउट डिफरेंट लेवल्स ऑफ पैकेजिंग ऑफ डीएनए इनटू क्रोमोसोम हाउ डीएनए अंडरगोज डिफरेंट लेवल्स ऑफ पैकेजिंग टू फॉर्म क्रोमोसोम वी डिस्कस अबाउट नॉन हिस्टोन प्रोटीन्स एंड ऑल्सो हिस्टोन प्रोटीन्स यू कैन रेफर माई वीडियो द लिंक इज गिवेन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स In this video we are going to discuss about chromosome structure. This is the topic for both CSIR NET exams and NEET exams. So please share it with the NEET aspirants too. If we talk about the word chromosome it is made up of two words. Chromo means colored and soma means body. So the literal meaning of chromosome is colored body. What are chromosomes? These are thread-like structures present inside the nucleus of cell, and these are highly condensed form of chromatin. In the previous video, we discussed about chromatin that these are nucleoprotein, which consists of DNA plus histone protein. You can refer my video; the link is given in the description box. So, when these chromatin condense, then it is known as chromosome. these chromosomes carries the genetic information from one generation to the other that is from the parent to the offspring now chromatin the term was given by fleming it is intranuclear long thread like fine fibers which are embedded in nucleoplasm that is it is present in the nucleus of the eukaryotic cell it is formed of dna plus histone proteins so what we can say that these are nuclear protein it contain genetic information and it condense to form chromosome during the cell division so during cell division chromatin condenses to form chromosome chromatin is of two types first is euchromatin it is lightly stained region it is diffuse region and dna is loosely packed it is transcriptionally or genetically more active that is genes that are present are expressed second is heterochromatin that is darkly stained region these are condensed region hence dna is tightly packed and these are genetically inactive heterochromatin is of two types constituted heterochromatin which occurs in all cells throughout the cell cycle and development it is permanently condensed facultative heterochromatin it occurs in some cells in some stages hence at some point of the development genes are expressed while at some point these are not expressed because these are temporarily condensed these are either condensed or decondensed depending upon the cell type and the developmental stage of the cell example bar body in female cells this is the cell during interphase this is nucleus inside the nucleus nucleolus is present and chromatin fibers are embedded in the nucleoplasm these are long thread like structure which is nucleoprotein made up of dna and histone protein so this is the cell during the cell division During cell division chromatin condenses and form chromosome this is the structure of the chromosome at the metaphase in which it is highly condensed and the two sister chromatids of a chromosome are attached to each other at centromere now the role or functions first of all we will talk about the vital role of chromosome these play an important role in cell division heredity variation mutation repair and regeneration chromosome ensure that dna is replicated and distributed appropriately during cell division since these are made up of dna and protein hence these carry dna or we can say chromosome carry dna and this dna is the basic genetic material due to the packaging of dna into chromosome dna is protected from any damage spindle fibers attached to kinetochore 
these are the proteinaceous disc shaped structure present on the sides of centromere and it helps in separating sister chromatids during the cell division and it ensures that each of the daughter cell receive equal number of chromosome so it helps in separating sister chromatids which is later on known as chromosome now some of the important facts of chromosome term chromosome was given by waldeer in 1889 and term chromatin was given by fleming chromosomes are physical carrier of genes in eukaryotic cell this was explained by sutton and bovary in 1902 and chromosomes are best studied at metaphase in which these are highly condensed number of chromosomes in any species is constant for all cells so all cells of any species has constant number of chromosomes if we talk about somatic cells number of chromosome is diploid represented as 2n and this type of the cells are known as diploid cell and if we talk about gametes so these are haploid cell and has haploid number of chromosome which is represented as n n is also known as genome or haploid chromosome and this n is actually complete set of chromosomes inherited as a unit from one parent during the sexual reproduction one set comes from the paternal side and one comes from the maternal side and after their fusion the diploid number of chromosome is restored in somatic cells each kind of chromosome is present as a pair and this pair is known as homologous chromosome but if we talk about gametes they contain only one of each chromosome so from a pair of chromosome only one chromosome is present in gametes during the fusion one comes from the male gamete and one comes from the female gamete and then diploid chromosome or diploid number is restored which consists of pair of each type of chromosome known as homologous chromosome the study of external morphology of all chromosome of a cell is known as karyotype this we will discuss in detail in separate video and this karyotype is specific for each species of living organisms now let us discuss the structure of the chromosome which appear in metaphase in which chromosome is highly condensed first is pellicle it is outermost thin proteinaceous covering second is matrix it is ground substance which is liquid non genetic and achromatic it consists of different types of enzymes minerals water and proteins third is chromonema singular it is known as chromonemata it is highly coiled thread throughout the length of a chromosome or chromatid it is genetical because it consists of dna and dna is the heredity material it is embedded in matrix chromonemata is made up of single long thread of dna plus histone proteins bead like structures that is present on the chromonema is known as chromomere within which genes are located fourth is chromatid each chromosome has two symmetrical structure or identical halves which are known as chromatids these are visible in metaphase chromatids separate and migrate to opposite poles during anaphase this we have discussed in detail in the cell division video you can refer my video the link is given in the description box and once the chromatid moves towards the opposite pole then each chromatid is known as chromosome fifth is centromere these are also known as primary constriction constriction because these are narrower than the remaining part of chromosome centromere links two chromatids that are known as sister chromatids together that is two chromatids of a chromosome are joined or linked by the centromere it divides the chromosome into two parts 
then shorter arm is known as p arm and longer arm is known as q arm this is the structure of the chromosome this is the outer most proteinaceous covering known as pellicle this is the ground substance known as matrix long thread like structure which is coiled and present throughout the length of the chromosome is known as chromanimata and bead like structure that is seen or that appears on the chromanimata are known as chromomere in which genes are located this is the centromere also known as primary constriction which divides the chromosome into two halves shorter arm known as p arm and longer arm known as q arm during the metaphase chromosome appears as shown in this figure so here two sister chromatids of a chromosome are attached at the centromere each chromatid has its own dna this is the short arm this is the long arm and the terminal part of the chromosome is known as telomere these are the two sister chromatids which are attached to each other at the centromere now the sixth is kinetochore these are proteinaceous disc shaped structure on the sides of the centromere these are the actual site of attachments of spindles to the chromosome during the cell division and when the spindle shortens then the two sister chromatids of the chromosome or the two homologous chromosome during the meiosis are pulled apart or these move away from each other towards the opposite poles during anaphase so to understand this better you can refer my cell division video the link of which is given in the description box the seventh is secondary constriction in sites other than primary constriction secondary constrictions are present in some metaphase chromosome one or more secondary constrictions are present secondary constriction which contain genes to form nucleoli are known as nucleolar organizer region nor and these regions are responsible for the formation of nucleolus these serve as the marker because these are located at the same regions or these have the same locations eight is satellite part of chromosome that is separated by secondary constriction is known as satellite chromosome with satellite is known as sat chromosome full form of sat is sin acid thymonucleinico sat chromosomes in which the secondary constriction has the gene responsible for the formation of the nucleoli or nucleolus is known as nucleolar sat chromosome and the last is telomere these are the terminal part of chromosome these are polar which prevents the fusion of chromosomal segments these are rich in guanine these are maintained by the telomerase enzyme hence we can say that structural integrity of chromosome is maintained by telomere or telomere maintains the structural integrity of chromosome this is secondary constriction this is also secondary constriction this is primary constriction also known as centromere on the sides of the centromere proteinaceous disc shaped structure is present which is known as kinetochore which is the actual site for the attachment of spindle fibers this secondary constriction is also known as nucleolar organizer region because it has the genes for the formation of nucleoli or nucleolus so this is nucleolus this is satellite hence this is known as the sat chromosome this is all for today's video in the next video we will discuss about types of chromosome on the basis of the number and position of centromere so stay tuned if you like this video please hit the like button share it and subscribe my channel thank you